Hey everybody, welcome back, and we're going to continue learning how to use the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator, and we're going to do so by recreating some logos. So let's go ahead and make a letter size document, landscape, let's hit create, and let's go ahead and get our logos. You can get these images by just doing any Google search on the internet, right? We can find the Nike logo. Let's start with that one here. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to drag it into Illustrator, and it's high resolution, I guess, the one I got, so really big. So I'm going to go to my direct select tool, hold down shift, and make it smaller. If I don't hold down shift, it'll just kind of distort, and that's kind of a no-no in Illustrator, right, or a graphic design. You don't want to unintentionally distort things. So hold down shift, I'm going to make an appropriate size, I'm going to zoom back in, and then I'm going to make this layer a template. So this is going to be like a tracing layer, so it's, it's going to be called a template, or it is called a template. So I'm going to get there by going to the little triple drop down button and I'm going to go down to template and then it does a couple things, but most, most notably it locks the layer so we can't accidentally pick it up or move our uh, picture around or object. It also drops down the opacity, which is also helpful so we can kind of see through uh, or it becomes a little, uh, you know, less opaque. So when we draw on top of it, we can see our drawing a little clearer. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to the same triple drop down button and hit new layer. And layer two is fine. Let's go ahead and grab the pen tool, shortcuts P, but it's right here. And okay, so when we make this, we're not going to get it right the first time. And that's okay. We're going to put our points or anchor points in place. We're going to get our points going in the correct directions. And then we can take the white arrow and then fine tune it. So let's go ahead and start. We just got to pick a point to start, so I'm going to, I'm going to start here. And you know what? As Before I start here, I know I do not want a fill right now. I want none. Okay, so I'm going to pick a place to start. I'm going to go ahead and click here. And our first, I lift it up because our first line is a straight line. I'm going to go to before it starts curving. And I know that I want to change it to a curve, so I'm going to have to hold down Option before I lift up my pen. So I'm ready. I'm going to click, hold down Option drag out my handlebar and I'm going to just bring it straight and I'm going to lift up the pen and lift up option. Okay. Now the reason I took the handlebar this direction is because that's the direction the curve is going and I might need to adjust it later but that's fine. So it comes out this way, goes to this point here. So I know where this anchor point needs to go. It has to go there. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the curve. Okay. Look, I can pretty much get it almost right on track there. Now I'm going to go ahead and hold down option because I need to change directions again. Swing the handlebar this way. And I want to swing it to just about like where it starts touching the curve. I don't want to go past the curve or, or the curve will go too far in. I know I don't want to go past the curve. So I go about there. Just guessing how long it is. About there maybe. I'm going to let go. Lift up a pen. Then lift up option. Okay, now bring the curve this way. And look, it's kind of, it's off right now. But that's okay. I'm going to adjust it. And let's see. It starts going straight somewhere around here. But let's see here. So I'm going to go here. Click. Try that again. Go here and click. Bring that out. And I'm trying to bring it in a straight line because we want it to go straight after this. So I'm going to put it pretty much mostly in place. I'm going to hold down option. Bring the handlebar in. Get rid of it because the next line's straight. Lift up the pen. Lift up option. And I've got a straight line. And let's see if I can connect it right there. Okay. There we go. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at our points. So I'm zooming in. Went to the direct select button now. And with the direct select button, I can tweak things. Let's say I want to make this curve a little smoother. So I'm going to pull it back a little bit. I'm going to take the end of the handlebar, bring it out. Maybe it's too far. Maybe that was too far. Let's go here, put it there. Let's take this one now. Oops, that's the wrong one. I want to leave that one where it is. That's the one I want on the other side. So let's go here. Bring this out. I can fine tune this one here a little bit. Let's see. And I can move it, right? Move the anchor point. I can move the handlebar. I pretty much want to keep this handlebar right in line with the straight line over here. Let's see, I can see the line's not 
maybe not perfectly straight. So let me see if I can move this handlebar a little bit down. It's kind of snapping a little bit. Okay, but look at my Nike symbols dipping a little bit. Might not be a perfectly straight line. Let me see if I pull it out here a little bit and adjust it that way. Now I think I had it in the right spot for this curve to go up there. Because now it's kind of taking a different direction. Let's see. And it kind of just takes some finagling, quite honestly. One of the things you generally want to do is make it in as few points as possible. All right, so you've got the straight line, we got a curve and a point, we went down and tried to get this all in one big curve if possible, a point and then one point to end it. If you make a, the more points you make, the more jagged, the more rough it's going to look. Okay, but I think I'm looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this and see there. I think it's looking pretty good. Let's turn the uh, template off. So let me turn that off. So there it is. All right. That's pretty on track. And you can endlessly fiddle with it. We could round out the end if we needed to. Um, that anchor point is slightly off, but it's, it's pretty darn close. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice our next logo and go back to my finder window and I'm going to drag the Apple logo in Let's see how big it is okay not as big as the uh, Nike logo was and I have put it right on my layer with my Nike logo so I'm gonna change that I'm gonna go ahead and unlock one of the layers over here I'm gonna unlock my layer and I'm gonna take the Apple this linked file here and drag it right in oh I turned the eyeball off for some reason Okay, there we go. Let's turn that off. Okay, so this is kind of on top of the Nike logo, but that's okay. I already did the Nike, Nike logo. Yeah, I already did the Nike logo. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to relock the layer, turn the um, layer 2 back on, and let's go ahead and make this Apple logo. All right, we got lots of curves here. We got some changes in directions. And let's go for it. I'm going to start at one of these points. I think that's a good place to start. But it starts as a curve. So I'm going to click and drag. Okay, immediately drag out a curve. Okay, so it's coming around here. Now, I've got to figure out where I want this curve to go. So I, I've, I've seen it done two ways. And I can't figure out which way is better. Uh, one way to make the curves is to put it on the tops, like on the hit, like kind of on like, I think of it like the top of the hill or this valley here. Another way is to put it between the curves. So I think I'm going to go between here. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to click and drag out a little handlebar in the direction I want the curve to go. And I think I can get this curve right here with that. So I'm going to go here to the next one. And if I don't get it perfect the first time, it's okay. Remember, I can always adjust. So I'm coming all the way around here. I want to kind of leave that curve if I can being made by the pen tool. So let's see. Okay, so look, I'm off the page a little bit. I need to get down. I just kind of drag the handlebar just a little bit down and let it go down there. Okay, so that's pretty good. And once again, if it's not perfect, we always can adjust. So I'm going to come around here, and I think I'm going to have to go right here on the side. Okay, now look, we got something off there. So we're going to fix that curve and I forgot to take off the uh, fill but I can do that soon so here we go Let me come around I wonder if I can get it all the way let's see if I can get it all the way I think I can perfect okay now here comes my change of directions so now so now I need to hold down option change directions Bring this up to just about where it touches the uh, curve there. And it's going to go around and touch this other point here. But I think if I do that, it's going to mess it up. See? So I'm not going to place it right there. I'm going to place it right next to it. And I can't see where it's trying to be. So I just got to kind of make it and then adjust it later. So I'm going to just go ahead and do it. Now I'm going to switch tools. Switch to the um, direct select button. And now I'm going to flip this over here in my fill and strokes. I'm going to hit this little button right here, which flips it. 
or not if I don't have it selected. <laughs> let's try it again. There we go. Selected. There we go. Okay. So let's zoom in a little bit and take a look at these handlebars and see how I can adjust them. So first thing, I got to put that in place. And let's go ahead and mess with the handlebars to get the nice little curve there. Okay, pretty easy. That's good. Let's see what's going on with this one. I might need to add another point, but we'll see. So I took this one and moved it up a little bit so it didn't go so far. The how long you drag out the handlebar is, you know, the, the longer the curve is. And the direction of the curve is affected by the direction the line is going. Okay, I think I'm getting pretty close. I was thinking I might have to add another point, which you can do pretty easily. But now I don't think so. All right, we are looking pretty right on track there. I like it. Okay, one more shape here. I'm going to get my pen tool. I'm going to pick a point. Let's go ahead and make a little uh, line there. Go to the other point, bring out another line, and then I got to change directions. So I'm going to hold down Option, bring out the handlebar. Let's see if it messes it up. Of course it does. I have to not do that. Bring it out. Put it roughly in place. All right, now that I got it roughly in place, I'm going to use the white arrow and adjust things. Now I can bring the point onto the other original point. And I think it's looking pretty good. Let's zoom out. Let's go ahead and select it. I can select both shapes, I believe. And I can go ahead and now flip it so that there's no stroke and that there is a fill. And there we go. All right, let's turn it on and off and see how it looks. Pretty good. All right, so now I can get rid of my template if I want to take it off. And I've got my two clean logos. All right, guys, that'll do it for now. Uh, we used the pen tool to get some uh, recreations of these very iconic logos. And I hope you learned something. Hope you got something out of this. And I'll see you on the next one.